Hello guys and welcome back to another mental health adventure here on the Cockney Hiker Channel which is also part of the Proper Blokes Club. Um, today, if you don't already know, um, to the clips we've done previous to this one, we are in the one place where they love the English the most. We're only in Scotland today, we've come to Edinburgh and there's a couple of reasons why we've come here. One, because it's a beautiful city, but also I've come up here because I've come to pay my last respects to um, a dear friend of mine. So we're going to actually go on another train in a moment. It's a place called Curry Hill, I believe. Um, it's a cemetery there where I'm going to pay my last respects to a friend that I live with out in the States who comes from here. Um, and then we'll come back and do a little bit more venture riding here in Edinburgh and have a little mooch about and see what it's at. We came up today on the Lumo train, first time being on that train as well, which was good. Um, really cheap, just a normal train ride really. Uh, other than my bum fell asleep halfway through, but I guess anything over a couple of hours, no matter what you're sitting down on, it's gonna um, gonna fall asleep. So, so onwards we go on our travels, guys. Let's go. Okay. It's amazing that. Everyone's watching him, no pressure, no pressure. Back to the station again. I'll try there, 27 minutes past. So, um, just left the, um, the cemetery. Um, really weird feeling, obviously. A bit emotional on it as well, understandably. Um, but he, he was, he, Craig was a, Craig was a great guy. And the first thing he told you, he loves the English. He loves the English. <laughs> now, when we first moved in, um, when we moved out, when we was out in the States, that's where I first met him. And um, yeah, there was a clear divide. He, he, he had a bit of hatred. I don't know if it was because of the English or me. I'm unsure. But, um, but I wore him down. I wore him down. He came around to my lovable ways. Uh, we ended up sharing a room. So he had to, he had to put, definitely put up with me then. But, um, but yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it's just too soon, isn't it? It's 37, man. It's, but he's, he's such a nice guy. There's not one person that could say anything bad about him. He, he was absolutely amazing um, and he helped us so much in that first year because he, he was a bit of a granddad in the house. He'd been there for, bear in mind, he's only two years older than me, but he, uh, <laughs> he'd, been, um, he'd been living there a bit longer. So, so yeah, so he knew everything and he, he showed us through and all that. Do you know what I mean? It's like an army commander. 
He didn't mess about at the beginning. He went to stamp his authority down. But, um, but yeah, we warned him down. He's a top lovable bloke. And I'm sure any of his friends, if they watch this, they still would uh, concur with that. He's uh, an absolute diamond. And uh, yeah, we was meant to, we was meant to, we was meant to meet probably a year before he, uh, he passed, but we just didn't get the, the timings right. And I was so confident he was going to push through, do you know what I mean? Because he, he was a fighter. He was, he was a proper Scottish fighter. And, uh, but, um, but yeah, uh, but all the memories now that I've got of him are fun memories. He was a, he was a top guy and he, uh, yeah, he, he led the group well, the Cliffside team. Um, so yeah, so much love to him and his family and that. Um, and condolences, of course, um, his partner and, and stuff like that. But um, his brother, Graham, who I've been in communication with, he's doing some fantastic stuff for him, charity now. Um, I think he's running the marathon, so by the time I post that, I'm going to put the link in the bio um, to um, to his uh, Just Giving page or whatever he's got. Um, so you can, if you want to donate, please feel free or just at least check out, see what he's doing, and share the love and share his posts and whatnot. Um, yeah, he's actually smashing it. He's raised quite a lot so far as well, so, so he's doing some really good work now. So, so Graham, top man, thank you so much for putting me in contact. Oh, I'm making me find where I need to go today and um, wish you the best of luck with all the challenges and um, we will meet one day for a beer and we can sit down and you can tell me some more about it and we can exchange some stories, eh? But um, thanks for your support, mate. And uh, onwards we go on this walk today, which is dedicated to the main man, Craig Bell. There we go. So we're heading towards the city centre, which is six and a half miles away. Onwards we go. So we're on the Water of Leaf walkway. I believe I'm saying that right. Got another five miles into Edinburgh. Onwards we go. Come back down onto the waterway. Beautiful waterfall there. Coming down. Got an old abandoned bridge. The waterfall was on the other side of that. But I've come all the way down to go all the way back up. So <laughs> onwards we go. It's all part of the adventure, guys. So let's push on. Follow the canal into the city centre. About, I think we've got another like three or so miles, so we'll pick it up on the way, see what else we can see along the route, eh? Two miles to Edinburgh, and we're also taking part of the John Mill away now, so we've had a little taste of a few different routes today. So onwards we go, two more miles to get into the centre of Edinburgh. So we've got Edinburgh Castle to our left. Um, just got to push on, there's one more place I want to show you. So we're now in the centre of Edinburgh. Um, we've got one more place I want to show you before we can sign off on today's video and have a little debrief. So onwards we go, let's check it out. Just gonna, um, just gonna pop, uh, pop into the pub for a quick beer um, over there. And uh, yeah, and I'll talk to you in a minute. 
anyone knows me, then I like this. I've got a guy out there, ain't I? Far the way round. There it is. Right up there. Off the seat. Let's see how far we can make it. It's good views right there. This is the views from here so far. Sun's starting to pop out now, which is nice. So we've got a little bit further up, see how far we're gonna go. We doing it? Let's have a go, see what it's saying. All for you guys. Still a long way to go, guys. I'm already knackered already. Out of shape for this sort of stuff, I guess. I've done any of this sort of stuff for a while. Amazing views. Ooh, knackered. So we've got to push to the summit. Onwards we go. So at the top, it's up there, last push. Right, on our way back down now from off a seat, which is just, there we go, right behind us. Uh, that was a good old slog out there, but definitely feel alive, heart was pumping. Um, so yeah, so thank you for joining me on this walk now. I'm gonna head back down to Georgia Station, have a couple of drinks out to eat, and then get back on the train back to London. Uh, so thank you for coming along on this walk with me. Um, really, really appreciate it. Also, don't forget, please, please, please check the bio out. Um, and if you can, donate anything to, to Graham Bell, um, who's, who's raising money for charity, uh, for his brother. Um, Craig Bell passed away last year, um, and this video is dedicated to him, obviously, as well. Uh, so please donate if you can. Um, and for other reasons, subscribe, share, like the page, spread the word. And uh, let's keep going on, and uh, I look forward to you joining me on uh, next walk. I'll see you later, guys. Have a good one. Later.